Suppose, let's assume that I am laying the cable inside the ground and I have seen the cable, I selected the cable of XLPE cable and I am laying at a ground temperature of 25 degrees. So what is the ground temperature 25 degrees? So what is the cable XLPE? The factor I have to multiply is 0.93. So if I am selecting a 400 square amp cable, which is carrying 1000 amps, so 1000 into 0.93, which gives me 930 amps only. So this 930 amps, again, I am looking into the depth factor. If I am laying this one at a depth of one meter, so one, so multiplication is one. So again, it remains as 93, 930 amps. And I laid this in the a very wet soil. So then 930 amps into 1.21. 930 amps into 1.21. How much did I am getting? Uh, let's do the calculation. Uh, 930 to 1.21 gives me 1125. Now the my temperature, my current rating increases to 1125 amps. Now I am looking into the cable distance correction factor. Number of circuits. Suppose it's a two circuits and the cable diameter is this. And the spacing you maintained is this, suppose. So I am multiplying with 0.9 and I am considering a grouping factor of one, suppose. So on total, if I am multiplying all these things, uh, 1125 into 0.9. So every if I am doing all this, again, I am resulting with some 10,020 amps or 10,010 amps. So it seems that if you choose a cable of 400 square mm cable, which is carrying 1000 amps, when I am laying that the cable inside in, under and buried in the ground, at these conditions, my cable now uh, can carry a rated current of 10, 1050 amps. So it's increased because of these conditions. So now my cable rating is 1050 amps. I require this 1000 amps. So my cable is sufficient in this with this condition. Now, we are, when I'm looking at the short circuit rating, where ISC equal to K into a K into A by root T, where you, uh, I have given you that uh, one uh, equation before in the some, I think uh, I have mentioned that in some of the PPT, you know, ISC uh, with some formula that is also applicable. So if you just look into here, this is a short circuit taken in a simple we will use. K is a factor uh, which is 143 for XLPE cables. Uh, and for uh, uh, generally most of the cases uh, for higher voltages, we will use XLPE. So 143 is this. And area of cross section, this we have to find out. Root 2 is how much time you want. So root 1, ISC 33. So 33 into 1 by 143 will gives you how, what is a square mm is required. What is a square mm is required? So that square mm you have to, that is a minimum square mm you have to select when you are sizing the cable. And the third case is the voltage drop, where I am finding the voltage drop with the formula root 3i uh, cos 5 plus x j sin phi. Uh, that is the formula, same root 3i into r cos 5 plus uh, j sin phi into uh, the resist, the voltage drop is also a part of the cable length. And it's also uh, inversely proportional to the line voltage and number of runs, right? So I'm calculating a percentage. So line voltage is come again came here. And number of runs, if suppose that you are connecting a parallel, the voltage drop is low, right? Because the current is dividing. So it comes to number of rows will come in the denominator and into thousand. So if you do this, then you will uh, get the voltage drop. So again, this voltage drop should be within the permissible or tolerable limits. Suppose the client asked you due to, I want the voltage uh, drop uh, maximum 3%. So you have to size the cable that uh, should give plus or minus 3% voltage drop at max. So this is the sizing of the cable. In the sizing of the cable, we are looking into the rate si size of the rated with respect to the rated current, short circuit current and the voltage drop. Any doubts, team? Till now. All clear.
so how many circuits you are giving you mean that this yes suppose two circuits and uh, generally uh, if the cable diameter is 0.8 and if it is uh, having a 0.12 fm is the spacing this is the this is the one you have to select and if it is a 0.1225m 0.9 and 0.5 is this it seems that suppose i am laying two runs two circuits are going if the two circuits distance is if it is nil no distance attached then 0.75 if the cable diameter the spacing between the two is the cable diameter spacing you are using then 0.8 if 0.125 this 0.25 is this if you if you are laying between uh, spacing is 0.5 meters uh, 0.5 meters means 500 mm then this is the one the cable density factor which is 0.9 i uh, note and this is my end i am playing two circuits this is the one circuit and this is the two circuit so it's a kind of a parallel if this failed uh, the 400 amps will flow through this line but in this circuit again this 400 amps cannot be carried with only one conductor i am laying a two conductors here like uh, and again i am dividing this it's a run it's number of runs so this is the one run and this is the other run right so this is for phase so again we are having for three phases r by b so the total six will be there and here the six will be there so now we talk about the spacing between the circuits this is the one circuit this is the one circuit that is for this now if you are looking into the each one so this all you can take together right like uh, i can form a trifoil formation like r by b and r by b if i am having like this two so this will come with respect to this like number of cables per tray in a cable in a tray in a tray means a like ladder tray if i am using uh, suppose uh, there are uh, six cables and number of trays suppose if i am using uh, two trays uh, means uh, on top of each like a uh, one two three and one two three this is my formation then 0.76 is the derating factor and if i am going for a three thing like 1 2 3 4 5 6 then this is the case okay, 0.72 got my point and again this is totally depends again these are having some trifoil formation like this so this trifoil formation having some other uh, derating factor that we can see in the catalog wait a minute i will uh, share you that also catalog yeah so you can get all uh, these catalogs from, from the different manufacturers yeah we will go down uh, so here you can see in the last appendix they will mention in this yeah you can see here basic assumptions for the current rating if it is solid team some disturbance on observed 